It was a beautiful cold night last. Oh, what's you think? Little, little what's cold? Little I don't know. Maybe it was just me. Everyone had their coats on. Yeah. But they weren't overly bundled. Right, right. It wasn't like jackets. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, it, was, it, it was last night, right? Yeah. yeah. It was in the 30s and 40s, so it's pretty typical. But um, overall, the themes that it's going to be chill. All the yeah. warmth that we had just. It's gone. Oh. It's gone. This is just oh. gone. every day. Chilly. Yeah. I mean, right. we're settling in now, right? I think 40s we're kind of getting used to now. Mm. Uh, and that's more or less going to be the case. It'll be a couple of days over the next several that we're only in the upper 30s. But today we should manage to make it into the mid 40s with a changeable sky, maybe a flurry, maybe a sprinkle. That is about it. We're staying generally dry today, just kind of blustery and cool with temperatures topping off in the mid 40s. Tonight we'll settle down into the 20s in many spots. Pretty typical stuff here. A little cooler tomorrow and once again a changeable sky. Uh, no big storms are indicated over the next several days. It's going to take us all the way through Thanksgiving. On Sunday, there's going to be a coastal storm, but that looks like it's going to pass way out to sea. It doesn't look to be much of a problem. And again, we might have a flurry or a sprinkle from some of the lake effect snows coming off of the lakes, making the way across New York State. But a lot of that activity dries up. So right now we're at 31. We have some clouds, but some clear skies as well. Sun up this morning at 642. So the next several days, temperatures 40s, 44 today, 42 tomorrow, and 40 on Saturday. And we might get a sprinkle or a shower in, uh, of snow in the valley. But, you know, with temps in the low to mid 40s, although it's plenty cold enough aloft, any flakes would just melt away. The Berkshires could get a snow shower. Uh, the sun angle very low this time of year, of course. The sun angle is equivalent to that to mid to late January. What we mean by that is the length of day is about the same. Of course, the days are so short now. Sun up this morning at 642. The earliest, uh, latest sunrise is 719 as we get into late December and January. Sunset this evening at 427. The um, earliest sunset is at 418. So certainly short days, right? It's one thing when the sun sets early, but when it's before 5 o'clock, boy, it gets dark so soon. And, of course, we have less time to heat up. So temperatures obviously get cooler as we move through the month of November. And today we'll see readings come up into the mid-40s. Just a couple little lone, lone flakes here and there. And, again, that's coming in off of uh, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And you can see a little snow shower towards Pittsville right now. Might whiten the ground on grassy surfaces, but temperatures are at or a little bit above freezing. Well, we've held on to quite a few clouds. While in the valley, just a touch cooler because we've seen a little bit of clearing, so we had some of that radiational cooling. And you can see, again, the, lake, uh, the moisture comes in off the lakes, and a lot of this dries up before it makes its way down into the valley. It's going to bring big snows, though. For example, to Buffalo. Buffalo could be measuring their snow in feet with the lake effect snow bands. For us, we're going to be dry, just chilly. 44 today, and notice that trend goes down as we head into the weekend. And then the beginning and middle part of next week will start to bounce back for Tuesday and Wednesday. Saturday, last Saturday, we're 70. This Saturday, we're going for a high of 40. Obviously, that's closer to normal, but still a little bit below. Normal high is about 48 degrees. So today, we'll manage to make it into the mid-40s in the valley, only in the upper 30s and mid-30s across the hills with a snow shower there. A few clouds, maybe a flurry tonight. We're down into the 20s and then for tomorrow sun and clouds chilly blustery maybe a flurry around our next weather maker well potential weather maker would come in late sunday but i gotta tell you that looks like a big miss for us way out to sea is that system that gulf of mexico moisture look at it it's just kind of sliding on out to sea so that means we're going to stay generally dry throughout the period i say generally because we might have just a flurry here or there flurry of sprinkle today maybe a couple of flurries on sunday and as we head towards thanksgiving we're going to start to moderate thanksgiving we might have the cooler air working back in during the day and then we'll watch for a potential storm friday night and saturday but that's a long way out that's at the end of the 10 day All right another check of the forecast in a few minutes amanda and david back to you dan thank